Boots on the ground, putting it down. Get up, get up, get up. I got something to tell you. I don't think they want you to know, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Special researcher Mickey D. I host The Scoop. I want to thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure. It's an honor to be on your electronic device. The Scoop is where our baby knockouts knock out the stock competition here, ladies and gentlemen. I've been gone a little, little bit here. I've been, this is, as long as I've been on YouTube, this is the longest I've been absent here. And that's maybe the last like 12 days or so. Many of you know, I was in uh, another state there attending to my father who was in the hospital. You know, Pops is, is getting well. Uh, my mission wasn't complete until he got out of the hospital. And when he got walked out of the hospital, uh, then I could uh, uh, safely uh, come home. But there's another mission out there that's not complete that uh, as soon as I got ready to do my video, uh, apparently Israel with a retaliatory attack on Iran uh, because of the 300 uh, drones and missiles and things fired their way here just a few days ago. So this thing is heating up, ladies and gentlemen, and gold, silver, uh, oil, all that stuff's going to be affected. Oh, we're going to take a look here at the Strait of Hermos. This is an area that I'm familiar with. Uh, that Persian Gulf area, I spent a lot of time uh, when I was in the Navy in that, that, that area. A battle group, and we, we controlled that area. And uh, I remember going through uh, the straits there, you know, because I was on an aircraft carrier. And you have to cut the engines off on an aircraft carrier, and you have to be tugged through this area. It's such a such a, a small area there that you have to be – I mean, you know, Iran, uh, that's their trump card, uh, so to speak, here, uh, to close or shoot in – try and do damage to that area to cut off oil coming uh, to the West. Uh, that's like something that we don't anticipate happening, but in the back of everybody's mind, you know, oil and gas prices could hit the roof if that happens. And so will other commodities uh, that we deal with. We don't necessarily cover oil. But we cover gold and silver, and our baby knockouts are starting to do very, very well. Junior silver mining stocks ready to explode, possible 1,000% gains. That book out there is doing very, very well. Thank you guys for uh, purchasing it. Uh, those stocks are right, right on. But uh, I want to show you show you a couple things here. Um, that our, our sectors are fine. Uh, Bitcoin goes up and Bitcoin comes down. Don't worry about it. We're in there for the long haul. That six to nine month period when before the happening, which is coming up here in a week or so, uh, is going to be a non-event. Don't worry about it. It's, the lights aren't going to go out on, on. I mean, it's not. We, we're already in position. You know, we have our baby knockouts already. Either you've made money already or, you know, you want to set stops and or you want to ride this thing through. I'm telling you right now, uh, the the ones in the newsletter, I'm just riding through because some of them, you know, you're, you're up big. And remember when I told you, when Bitcoin gives you, when these stocks give you two and three hundred percent wins, you go ahead and take them. And some of these are already up there and, and they've come back and they're going to go back up. Bitcoin is a trade, ladies and gentlemen. I, 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 people are saying it's an investment. Bitcoin, these stocks, these are tradable stocks. Don't fall in love with these stocks. We're not going. There's no wedding with these stocks, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, you know, when, when you're given that amount, go ahead and take it and do, do what you need to do. But we'll take a look here uh, a second at, at at this what's going on what's developing kind of right now it looks like it you know it, it could commodities could spike up uh, tomorrow you know th who knows how the next uh, few days are going to go with what's really going on uh, iran has said well if they hit us we're going to hit them even harder and and you know uh, israel saying well we're going to hit you back and you know it could be a back and forth here but it could affect 
the straights there because that's one uh, Trump card that I ran. Uh, you know, I, I don't think they'll use it now, but uh, we, we will see, ladies and gentlemen. It could affect that area. Uh, like I said, oil prices could spike up and then all the other commodities uh, could spike up also. It's a commodities bull market, ladies and gentlemen. Even the soft commodity, grains, there's going to be a lot of stuff going up, ladies and gentlemen, with this, these uh, commodities. Uh, you'll see, just in due time, just be patient and let this thing play out. You know, that's what we're doing with, you know, with, with our other trades. You know, if, if guys, guys have been, it hit me, uh, lithium, lithium is coming back. Lithium, yeah, it is, you know, and, you know, to, oh, no, look no further than surge battery metals and, and, and Patriot also, Patriot battery metals. Look no further than those. They're down right now. Let them sink all the way down. And then you can go ahead and nibble. Nibble. That's about it. But anyway, it's good to be back. And uh, let's take a look at a couple things that, that may interest us or may may have something to do with uh, what goes on there in uh, in uh Israel and uh, Iran and how it may affect us. We're getting a little spike in uh, Brent crude as I speak, you know, up to 0.79%. Uh, the gold price in China right now, $2,409.64. Uh, it has come off of uh, its highs. It was up uh, uh, in the uh, 2430-ish year uh, a little while back. Uh, silver's trading uh, the ask is 219.60 uh, in the one let's take a look at let me convert that yeah silver is would be converted that 219.60 uh, Chinese one is uh, thirty dollars and thirty three cents US dollars so we're over thirty dollars in uh, China we have a lot of firepower ladies and gentlemen uh, in the in the theater, in the area, if needed, uh, we can make things happen. Ladies and gentlemen, I was telling you about the uh, Strait of Hormuz. And, and uh, all of you, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, well wishes to my dad. Uh, I want to thank you guys. Uh, he's, he's, doing, he's doing better. He's doing better. Uh, this Strait of Hormuz here, I, I spent a lot of time here in the Persian Gulf uh, playing war games, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, this area is, is pretty narrow, uh, you know, 20, 21 so miles wide, uh, you know, getting through there on big aircraft carriers and battle groups and things trying to get through here uh, is it's easy to be hit, uh, especially from from Iran, uh, which Iran controls uh, just pretty much that that area. Uh, so you got to be nicey, nicey to Iran. But apparently uh, uh, Israel was not very nicey, nicey. So uh, their real uh, strategy, their real uh, uh, ace card there uh, is uh, to try and do something to interrupt uh, commerce here in the uh, Straits of Hormuz. Otherwise, they, they can't. You know, they, you saw they can't. We've got the Iron Dome there in Israel. They can't touch us. Uh, that's me talking, of course. That's not. I'm not talking as a strategist or anything like that. I'm just saying that uh, uh, we believe that uh, our military is superior to theirs. That take it, take it like that. Take it or leave it. You know, I'm not. I don't. I'm not. Uh, I don't want to argue with anybody about this or that or the other thing. I'm just telling you this area right here. If it's cut off uh, or, or threatened in any way. Oil prices and other commodities, gold and silver and all, will go up. Apparently, there's been a light threat tonight uh, or an ongoing threat right now from uh, Israel uh, on Iran with a an attack. Uh, we'll see. Uh, the next 24 hours, next 48 hours, we'll know more. But right now, coming on you, yeah, I'm kind of coming blind uh, because I was going to talk about some, something else, but that came uh that's a story right now take it out with a little carrier lifestyle showing you guys what it's what it's like on one of those big daddies out there uh in the indian ocean in the persian gulf all those other areas we get our little exercise in we do things uh haze gray and underway shipmates 
We'll see how it goes, ladies and gentlemen. This group is for your education, your entertainment, your information. Only I'm not a stock broker, not a money manager, not a financial advisor. But we will be ready because we are in position. We have our junior mining stocks, junior silver mining stocks ready to explode, possible 1,000% gains. When I wrote this book four years ago, I wrote it for now. Now is the time. See, anybody can tell you, well, well, there's a, you know, Bitcoin is going up. It's at 60. You don't want to know what's happening when it's at 60. You want to know when it's at 10 and 20, when it's way down there, right? That's what I do, ladies and gentlemen. This book right now has the ammo for you and for your family, ladies and gentlemen. And what do we do? Money manage, baby knockout money management principles. We sacrifice one weekend out of the year with our family and we purchase a baby knockout. That sacrifice, ladies and gentlemen, we've been doing for years and years. Whether that's $200 in your, your part of the uh, country for a family of four, dinner, movie, what have you, night out, go to see Circus Soleil, whatever. If it's $500 for a family of four, if it's, it's $800, we spend that money on a baby knockout. And in an area like silver right now that we're focusing on, these gold and silver plays, if you don't get the baby knockout newsletter, make sure you get that, ladies and gentlemen. The information is in the description area. We'll have our latest baby knockouts in there. Uh, these these stocks during a bull market, you know, they can do phenomenal. But you want them to be in your account or on your watch list before things explode. Just like remember, invest in lithium baby knockouts uh, now. Remember this book right here. Patriot Battery Metals, 45 cents. It went up to $16. Now, Surge Battery, we'll talk, we'll talk about that this next round because right now, those lithium stocks are going down and they're, they're going to be buys. They're buy, you know, you buy a stock for a quarter and the stock goes up to $16. That's somewhat of a hit, the Canadian, you know. Uh, that's somewhat of a, of a hit, somewhat. But you guys, everybody remembers IIPR, Innovative Industrial Properties, went up to almost 300. So you're spoiled. Don't get spoiled on me, ladies and gentlemen. Pick up these junior silver stocks right now while they're a quarter, 15 cents, 75 cents. They're going to go up and down. You're going to have volatility for a long time, but we're going to do well. Love you. God bless you. Take care of you and your family. Once again, Pop said, hey, thanks for the well wishes. He's doing better. And, uh, the mission, him getting out of the, the hospital was the mission. I'd have stayed there another month if I had to. It doesn't matter, you know, when it comes to your family. Love you. God bless you. Take care. And speaking of family, some of our family members we'll be talking to here. The uh, Silver Basics uh, for New Investors, Lauren Stripling, we'll be talking to him, I believe, next month or so. Uh, we'll be talking to him. Also, I, uh, D Money Spotting, we're going to talk to D Money. Uh, he's going to be talking about cannabis a little bit. And what's going on right now? Because we do have a cannabis play for Germany. So we'll be talking more about that. Love you. God bless you. Take care of you and your family. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Keep your eye on what's going on right now over between Iran and uh, uh, Israel and the Strait of Hormuz also, which will play a role. No one's talking about it right now, but it's going to play a role here, uh, we believe. Uh, maybe not soon, but that area of the world where the international commerce there and the straight, it's very important. The straight to is very, very important. Take care. Love you. God bless you.